Hello YouTube, this is Chester from Name APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be dealing with NFC and a lot of cool stuff using uh, near field communications. And I've been, I'm really excited because I've been wanting to do a tutorial on this for a long time. And basically what our, we're going to do is to create an NFC inventory management tool that you're able to scan items uh, like an inventory and it will store the data into a database and then you can email it you can keep it text it make it into spreadsheets anything you want to do I'll show you how to do that from scratch but before I do that actually let me just show you really quick um, the app and now it's a physical device so actually I have to close it open it and as you can see this is a real app this is not expo go and now let me close this and then you go to scan no item it's going to allow me to scan an item so let me get a tag here and now i'm going to it's going to scan the tag it did it so i'm going to put a name YouTube demo you to thanks for watching quantity one location QWERTY enter category YouTube demo and save it and now we hit save and it's, as you can see item was added to the inventory so I hit OK and now it just did this one now if I want to generate a report it gives me two choices it gives me a choice to refresh the data or generate a CSV report I am able to either email it to myself or uh, Google put it in Google Drive so I'm going to do Google Drive and then I can change the name and I'm going to just for 111 so I can find it easily save and your file is being updated so now I go to find it in Google Drive and there it is now if I open it it shows me all of the information for that particular report as you can see YouTube demo thanks for watching QWERTY YouTube demo I'm gonna show you how to do this from scratch but before we get there I want to explain uh, something that that is very important because right now this is an app that is running on my physical device as you can see this is my real device so what I was the difference is that you see here you have Expo Go. Expo Go has two apps, the tag counter and NFC. This is a real Expo Go app. This is not an Expo Go app. So you can see this is uh, the real app that I was just showing you. So it's this one. It's this one right there. So it's a real app. Everything else is going through Expo Go, which is a sandbox. When you're dealing with NFC, you're actually accessing the native part of your phone. You cannot do that using Expo Go, and you cannot do that using an emulator. Like this iOS emulator, if I try to do the same thing that I just showed you on my physical device, let's do it is going to say weird stuff and to explain more clearly what i'm talking about let's go here and go into um into let's switch from expo go to build now we're using development build so if we go into run it on android no issues because it's a physical device when I try to do the same 
using uh, iOS and then I'll, I try to, I mean it's using the build, as you can see it's actually using the build, but when I try to scan a new item, look at that, it's telling me NFC is not available on this device or is disabled because it cannot access it either through an emulator or through Expo Go. That is a, a very important distinction that you need to realize. If you had a physical device and an iOS device and you do follow along my tutorial, you'll be able to use your physical device. That is not a problem. But the reason that I'm not using my iOS physical device is for two reasons. A, in order to do it, you need to have an Apple account and you need to have being the developer and I have I have all that but I don't want to put you to go through all of that because it's, it can be a pain in the butt and then you if you don't have an account then you have to do an account it takes a few it takes time so I didn't want to do that that's why I went with the physical device using Android because it's a lot easier and we'll just use the iOS emulator for you guys that are doing iOS, you can follow along. That's what we're going to do. That was the easiest way for me to do, satisfy uh, both the iOS crowd and also the Android crowd. And that way it also makes it easy on you. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to take this away from uh, for a while. We don't need it anymore, so I can we can disable this because we're going to start from scratch. We're going to be, this is using, um, this is where we're going right here, but I don't want to show you that stuff because it's only going to confuse you right now. What we're going to do is we're going to create a, a, a project from scratch. So what we're going to do, we're going to do, let's do, uh, actually, let's just do it from NPX, create, expo, app, at latest. It's going to ask me for a name. I'm just going to call it NFC, YouTube, oops. Can I use underscores uh, for later? So let's just let's just keep it NFC. Uh, some parts of, of the process does not like underscores when underscores when we get there. So I don't want to have to change it later. I better change it now. And it's going to take a little bit. Let me stop the video here. Okay, it is done. So now I'm going to go into the my NFC and clear this ls and this is the stuff by nfc so now i'm going to use cursor to open it i i don't want to use co uh, visual code but i'm running the other app on visual code that's why i'm using this one so file open and then go into desktop desktop it's right there and then I'm using desktop react native and then I'm using NFC open it and now it opens the code right here now I do the terminal no terminal and now npx expo start. I need to use a different port because my VS code is using the 8081. So I'll do yes. And now it opens this one. So now I'm going to run the emulator. You switch emulators and now it brings me to the tag counter, uh, to the new app. As you can see here, it's still showing that I can go into the home and it's, it 
has the tag counter and it has the snow app okay okay and also to open it on android if i bring it here now i'm also running on both on the emulator ios emulator and on my physical device android so if you got to this part we're good in the next tutorial what i'm going to be doing is how to create a build from we'll go from expo go to a pre-build and it will be really easy i promise we're not gonna go into xcode we're not going to go into android studio we're gonna stay in vs code to, during the whole time but i'm going to be doing that in the next tutorial if you like this tutorial please cl click click the like box subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time with another tutorial take care